a new technology pushing the limits of human experience or a public nuisance. Once the preserve of the military, drones are now used widely by everyone from the police to surveying firms like the one where Adam Bailey works. But the use of drones by amateurs is raising concerns. To many people, they're simply toys. But many new buyers may not understand how to use them safely. Over the past year, the number of near misses have quadrupled in the UK. The authorities consider drones a type of aircraft, and such incidents have led to a call for greater regulation. An evolution of that regulation, which is proportionate and risk-based, um, I think that is something that is going to happen in the, in the UK, and I think it's an important measure to support the, the drone industry globally. This music video was condemned by professional drone pilots after it showed aerial close-ups of some of London's best-known landmarks. It broke all the rules and raised concerns about the possible use of drones by terrorists. This summer, the British government has used to publish guidelines to address public concern. But some users think there are enough rules as it is. There's a lot of regulations already and they're very complex. So the difficulty is the general public, who are not aviators, um, do not understand them and don't perhaps see drones as aviation actually stripping back the regulations and making them a bit more accessible to the public is what is important. Drones like this one can be bought by virtually anyone. But with the rise in irresponsible usage, the challenge to balance the freedom of drone users with security is likely to be debated for some time. Miriam Francois, TRT World, London.